online today. It's got it's been a it's been a good few days. Um and we're back. So today we are gonna go ahead. Let's move this to a new tab. All right, so on the last stream, uh, we went through all of these. So we built a tribute page and a survey form so far. So let's quickly uh, take a peek. All right, so uh, we built this thing um, as a first project. Here's what the page looks like. Uh, I learned how to add CSS grid. So we added a media query and turned the grid from this to this when it's um, 1100 pixel or less, right? So when we, you can see here, there's a three column grid. It switches to a column grid right here because we've got um, content, content, content. So it occupies all three columns there. That's the first project we built. And then the second thing did was a survey form, which is right here. Um, yeah, we just did it using just CSS. Um, and then it's static, so I don't increase the size, it doesn't the width of the forms doesn't increase or decrease by uh, automatically because you've set the margin to be fixed. Minimum width and maximum width to be 470 each. Um, no, sorry, that's, that's not the one. Yeah, we did 500 pixels each on left and um, minimum and maximum. Yeah, so that's what we did. So today we are going to go ahead and build the next project, which is a product landing page. Okay, let's get some uh, music in here and go listen to Drop the Light Mellow. If I can spell it right. It's got some fire beats, so it's going to go ahead and just play on loop. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> okay, so what do we need to do? Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and put my headphones in. All right, okay, so we are building a product landing page. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Here's what the page is gonna look like. So we've got a logo, navigation bar, headline and input field, logo and some pictures. Okay, video, a pricing table. It looks very basic, very, very simple. So we're going to try and make, try and um, spice this up a little bit. And so privacy terms, 
I don't think there's a link anywhere. Nope, it's just there on the page. Okay, a very basic one. So let's go ahead and try and load it now. Boom, ba -boom, boom, boom. All right, okay. So we are going to fork this. How do I do that? Um, there we go. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. And um, yeah, we are now going to change the name, although I forget how you do that. Um, change view to editor view. There you go. Gonna fork it here. All right. Okay, sick. Um, Project three product landing page. Yeah, it's got to save. Um, yeah, actually, let's go back and just rename the other ones so we have the same conventions. Uh, your work. Project one. I think this was a tribute page. And uh, this one was, ooh, ooh, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, let's be fire, yo. Yo, Mellow, this beat is fire. <laughs> Mellow be dropping hits, 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 hits. Alright, so it's going to be project number two, build a survey form. Alright, let's go ahead and save that. Okay. I forked it, where is it? Hmm, interesting. I just copy paste the entire thing. All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete. I think I'm gonna need that. I don't know what the JavaScript that does, but I'm gonna delete all of that. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and delete all of that too. Okay, cool. Objective, build this page. Uh, for for these user stories to get two parts to test, give it your personal style. Yeah, we're gonna look and work on a bunch of personal styles because that page just looks bland. Uh, you can search the most obvious CSS. Plain CSS is recommended. Okay, use story one. My product landing page should have a header element with a corresponding ID of header. Okay. So that should be the. Um, I think you need a main tag. Um, 
Okay, I think it's the ID of header to the yep. So I yeah, should pass. That is interesting. Header element with a corresponding ID of header. ID equals header. Maybe it's because I've got the main tag, maybe it's just messing up with it. Um, okay, that doesn't make no sense. Okay, that's better. So the header has to be... I think that is the header, right? Use story number two. I can see an image within the header element with a corresponding ID header image and a company logo. We add a comp logo in there. Okay. So this is not meant to go there. Grab that link, put that in there, just run it. Here we go, here we go. Um, and we need an ID of header hyphen image. Four out of sixteen already. Cool. Within the header header element, I can see a navigation element with the corresponding ID of nav bar. Okay, navigation element. I think it's just a just nav. List items. Yeah, just nav. Okay. Okay. should be now bar
All right, so this one's got Elijah in my lobby 20 seconds. <laughs> We're just going to play the old beats, Mello. Too much tags, bro. All right, okay, uh, navigation bars, so that should now pause five. Oh, we need to run it first. Should be five, cool. I can see at least three clickable elements. Um, so the navigation element, each with a nav link class, okay. So within this, I need to have, I'm going to assume I'd use li, right? Um, what have we got? Features, how it works, pricing. Wait, it's, it said uh, clickable. Clickable would be a an anchor text, no? A href, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that. And not a. Um, and each of them needs a class of nav item link. We can do that. And zoom in a little bit so uh, everyone can see the code. So it should now pass six. Great, 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 great. We're making some good progress here. Uh, navigation, navigation is just showing a five. When I click the dot nav link button, and then I am taking the corresponding, corresponding section of the learning page. Corresponding section of the learning page. How do I do that? Dot nav link. Okay, so this will be when I want to build out the actual sections of the page. Um, right. So features goes here, how it works. And this just goes to the same section. All right. So we'll come back to user story number five later. Um, do you know what? Yes, yeah, let's, let's build some notes. Um, okay, we are going to need. Yeah, let's build a project. Add a page, uh, this is going to be landing page. And I 
has done this little checkbox, we need to do that. I can watch an embedded product video, ID this video, the landing page is a form of the other video, okay. So this is going to be the form. Yeah, let's, let's start building it out. Alright, so in the main, we are going to build a H1 tag, and that is going to be this one right there. Yeah, let's keep it side by side just so we can sort of see what we're building here. Okay, form, um, and inside the form, I'm gonna have an input field. Input. I can't remember his input or so close in tag. Okay, input type equals. Type his email. Now we need a button. Um, the button's going to have okay. I'm gonna have to pull up my name earlier thing. Man. So let's see how we did it here. I remember form. Nope, I'm going to take the HTML. Type his email, so that was okay. No, and it's required. Button, how do I do the button? Input type is submit, okay. All right, that's what we did. Um, all right. Input type equals submit. And uh, closing in the tag. So let's run this code. There we go, we have a submit button. Boom, boom, doesn't exist, bad part. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hey, at least we got that. Um, we'll add a um, BR there, so it's going to be on a different line. Okay. 
there we go all right cool that's looking good uh section number one let's wrap that around a div okay let's open up another actually no that's um what are the requirements id equals form And uh, let's also make the email address required. Okay. ID is email. Yeah, we got that. Email field should have a place for the text. Yeah, we have that too. Validation of email automatically does it. Input ID equals submit. Okay, we didn't do that. Um, type it. We did the type, but it didn't put an ID on it. Uh, there we go. It now has an ID. Patio, what's up, man? Thanks for the follow. How's it going? Are you a developer learning the code? What's up? What's your story? Okay, so. Um, ID equals submit, so we've done that bit. Uh, when I click on the submit element, the email is submitted to the status page. Use this mock URL. Ah, awesome. I don't think we actually did the last time. Uh, so HTML on submit, go to URL. How to use this submit, guys? Cool. Value equals go. Jobs go on do jobs go. How do you make it simple? I want to do all that. Um, there's got to be a simpler way to do it than that. I would think so. Um, patio. I think you're watching, man. Any ideas? What should we do here? I don't want to use JavaScript. Should be able to do it without a JavaScript. Um, input HTML submit URL form action. There we go. Action, boom, that's what we need. That is what we need, I'm pretty sure. Let's try it out. So that actually goes in the form tag itself. Right here. Action equals and paste that URL. I don't know what this is, method, but I think that's gonna do the trick. Um, Let's try it right. Some gibberish email submit. Hey, at least it's going to free code cam, which is cool. But it's not doing what we wanted to do. Hmm. I mean, that makes sense to me. Refresh the page. All right, let's run the test. See the test pass. So when I click the submit element, the email is submit static page. Recodecam.com. Ah, oh, the org. Why is it org? No, it is org. Nope, it is a com. See, see, see what I've done there. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? Oh, he redirects. That's interesting. Why is it redirecting? Look at that. Look at that. 
So you can't just copy paste the code, man. It's redirecting. Trying to be sneaky. All right. Um, okay, cool. So we are going to make sure it's .com and that should pass the test. So let's try it. Let's run. Run test, 8 of 6, still 8 of 6. Cannot read property, has attribute, has attribute. So they do want us to use JavaScript now. Look at that, so that works. Maybe because we don't have the method equals get. I don't know what that does. What does that do? Maybe that's what it needs. I don't know what that is, but I think that's what it needs. So let's add it. There we go, run it. Hopefully that will now um, redirect us to that page. Okay, it's going somewhere. It's going to free code camp. But it doesn't want to pass the test. It has, a, has attribute property of no, okay. Um, so you got, so we need some JavaScript to do that, huh? So you can't actually do it. See, I haven't learned JavaScript yet, so I don't know. I don't know. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look at that. In first play. Okay.
Um, okay, sorry. You can't do that using pure HTML. The form we always get, always post together the URL with action. But we tried that. Although it works, it doesn't really pass the test. Um, so let's look at a couple of things, right? Um, all right, let's copy these two. Right here. We're going to have this in JavaScript. Type is URL, name is URL, get element of ID, form action, this value, type submit go. Okay. But how is it going to know which URL? ID is form, looks like also going to need some method equals get in the. Go straight to JP at all. This doesn't, it's not making much sense to me right now. And look at that. Not going anywhere, bro. What? Maybe when it says URL, I actually have the URL. I'm really not sure, man. I'm gonna YouTube this. It's got to be some tutorials there. On oh, submit, go to HTML. Contact form seven. No, 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 no. Maybe in this one. Information is key, which is why I submit, and you'll see if that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use this script right here because it's not making a lot of sense right now. Results get element by you see what I don't understand is where do you input the end URL? Um do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna go and look at See how they did it. Um, yeah, let's see how they did it. Form action equals that. I mean, that's right. Okay. 
Isn't that what I did the first time? It didn't work. Yeah, that's exactly what I got. But instead of all that, I mean, I got a com. Maybe it's just that dot com thing. I forgot to change it back. Oh man, if that's it. Alright, let's run it. Run the test again. Nope. How is that different to what they got? Maybe it's got some CSS on it. None that I can see, so I, I don't know, man. I also like how they've um, done this. So type, so it's easy to read, placeholder. Quiet and then close the tag, right? Kind of like that. That's pretty cool. Do I have a typo in the address? Let's do that. Should I run this? You doing a tutorial, just um, trying stuff out. So I am going through free code camp. Um, I don't know if you know about this. So I've gone through these um, and then now I'm just building these projects out. So went through it once, a lot of it just like over my head. So. I'm, I mean, I did it, but I don't remember, remember it. So I'm just having to search stuff and build it out, which is... So last stream was fun. This survey form, uh, which is this one. It took me three and a half hours to build. And a couple of people jumped on the stream, like, late towards towards the end of it. And we were just trying to, like, tell me different code to try. It was pretty cool. But we built it out. So today, I am building... Um, where is it? This page. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm going to build the building blocks and then I'm going to customize the layout and stuff like that. What about you? Do you code? And I don't know if you heard any of that. If you didn't, then let me know in the chat. But um, okay, let's continue. All right, so that is what we are building. Uh, let's go. Okay, so got that. I think this does need to be within a list. Sounds interesting. Yamaha. 
What do you mean, Yamaha? I feel like I saw, saw something I should know. Recording too. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, let's join. Let's learn together. So, you can... yeah, if you, have, if you have any ideas on how I can... Yeah, so basically, right, so we're going to go build this page. It looks really bland and boring. So we're going to build it up exactly like this, and then we're going to go ahead and just, like, just I don't know, sash it up a little bit. It's just, we're going to add some colors, going to add, I don't know, maybe add some animation to make it look slick. Because right now it just looks like, like a high school student project. Just typing on handy uh, and auto build. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Um, all right. Okay, cool. Um, what are we doing? This item is from there. So one thing I'm not sure about is CSS Flexbox. I, I did it once. So I think today that's going to be another goal is um, try and learn how to rearrange things using CSS Flexbox. But um, yeah, let's get all the things in first. Okay, got the header, navigation, the main there, form. Right, yeah, that's where I was. So building a new div, and then this one, we're gonna enter the, these basically. So, gonna need an image with some kind of source. Uh, I think I can just do this. Hang on, is that not an image? I think that's an icon. Icon, eh? HTML icons. Oh, it's just an eye. All right, so it's not an image, it's an icon. Interesting. Okay, icon. It does need a closing tag. We need three of these. And I'm gonna need a. Okay, uh, after the icon, we're gonna need. I'm gonna assume that's an H2. Right, and then maybe a paragraph. This is what I'm thinking. And uh, yeah, let's copy paste that in. It's all right. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna type in the chat. So, yeah, what project are you working on, Patio or Patty? Are you building anything? Do you have a code pen I can look at? Anything online I could take a peek? All right, so we got those icon. Let's, let's find some icons. Icon just. Oh, look at that, we can add some font, font awesome. So the head tag, we need to, uh, 
Uh, something really stupid but head and head is different right they're not the same thing yeah 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 they're different cool so we've got the font awesome um how do we actually use it FAS FA Cloud Okay I guess we go just go find it from here Why do you need my email, man? I want to give you my email. All right. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, I've got too many pages open. Okay. That looks like fire. Or like flame. Right? I know it just made well, basically all about web website. So you're a developer already. That's cool, man. Uh, is this like freelance work you do or? an actual dev job flame yeah that does look like a flame there we go found it fire so how do i use that yeah nice okay color doesn't let me change the color How do I change color, man? Don't know. I'm just gonna go with it. We're gonna. It's gonna be a pink lemon page. Whatever. Just, just roll with the punches. Close, close, close. We're gonna need that one. Um, where's icon? <laughs> Reminds me of your first tries. Oh man. Oh yeah, newbie mistakes. <laughs> the funny thing is, I actually have it recorded now. So I can go back two years later and be like, oh man, just face palm with myself. Very funny. Drop out of company, that's cool, man. That is awesome. Yeah, I think I think that'll be a goal for me in like a year, two years when we get like a dev role. Color chance online per color color chance online per CSS. Oh, I can change the color using CSS. Cool. This isn't working though. Why isn't it working? Oh, I closed it. Don't awesome. Maybe the link I use is incorrect. Let's try this one. Style sheet. Script. I don't know what script. Hey, what is that? There's something there. That, that does not look like a fire to me, man. What the heck? Also, why is this here? This can go away too. FAS, FA fire. Oh, I've got two things as well. That's why. That's why the awkward arrow was there. But 
it's not adding the photo, it's adding a square box, which is not what I want. So I'm doing something wrong. I think I'm linking the wrong, linking the wrong thing. A guide to getting started. Here we go. Maybe I do need to give an email. Um, wait, what is this? Zero to. I don't even know what my Gmail is, man. Zero to code. Let's see, we could link. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure, you can have my email. Alright, send me the code. Hard to type with handy, just this autocomplete is changing my words. It's so annoying. What is handy? Am I, am I, you mean it's having my hand or is that an actual like thing, device? H. Like hand, right? Who are you talking about? Typing on handy and auto fit. Job pitch and coding too. Folks, listen. All right, okay, check your email. I will. Um, there we go. Click to confirm. Oh man. What's a password? it doesn't match what do you mean doesn't match I'm having more small mistakes with my uh... hey at least you're typing with the mobile phone right I'm having mistakes typing a password <laughs> using my two hands on a keyboard so you're doing good man uh... What was my username? I don't even know. Oh, there's my username. Save it. First name. Last name. First. I haven't used it yet. You won't let me. Go to favor? Not yet. And yeah, we skip it. There we go. There we go. Here's what we need. Copy the kit code. Um kit code how do I add the kit code okay this can go it's a script so do I need that in the JavaScript or something run yay look at that man we have fire <laughs> we've got fire man that's a win that's a win for the day And I'm assuming, oh wait, you said I can change colors using CSS. How do I change colors in CSS? Okay. Uh, where's the icon? Class FAS fire, so class. I think class is by using dot. We have a green fire, does that work? No, it doesn't. Dot F A C O G. Oh, because okay. oh, it already has a class. I mean, that's that's what it did. Color green. Maybe it doesn't like green. But that doesn't make sense why it wouldn't like green. Woohoo! Dot is missing. Which dot? Where is the dot, man? Um, this dot? Man, I've been streaming for an hour already, and this is all I've built in an hour. Okay, which dot is missing? What dot? Here's a dot. Does it need another dot? Is that what you mean? between the words 
Yes. God bless Patio, man. God bless you. <laughs> we have fire. We have pump awesome. We have... Uh... Yeah, it's a, it's a small win, but it's a win. I'll take it. I will take that and run with it. Okay, cool. Let's add... Um... A van. Um, okay, icon. Shuttle van. Look, carol van. Look at that, it's a pro license. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go with this one. Copy. I also have too many tabs. All right, let's just go. I know where I had to because I was comparing the thing. Yeah, no, nope, I can go away. Just can delete, delete. Okay, cool. So the second icon is gonna go here. And this one. I think I'm gonna add a comma and add another one. And we'll remember to put the dot. Save, run. And we have a bus, but it is not red. Oh, it needs another dot in front. Man, these dots are kidding me. Oh yeah, why does it need a dot though? Because the thing doesn't have a dot here, it's an empty space. Don't know. I do not know. It works, we'll take it. And that is battery, I'm pretty sure that's battery. Battery full, that's what you want. change the size maybe just size I don't think so um there was one there was one translate translate something oh is this font size interesting Yeah, but it's not the one class name, but multiple separated with white space. Oh. Ah, oh, interesting. Got it. Cool. That makes sense. 30 pixels. I don't think that worked. Oh, no, it did work. Sweet. It's a bit red. You don't want red. Um, color. I don't know. We'll leave it red for now. Okay, that's done. We need a video. Video. How do you add a video there? Video. <laughs> this is basically me. I'm just uh, googling everything and um, yeah, learning as I go. Oh, video is just video then. Source MP4, okay. Video is just video. Okay, let's see. I can watch an embedded product video with the ID equals video. Maybe some YouTube video. I 
YouTube video in HTML, iframe, Hey, <laughs> a couple of even reps. Is this the dynamo? Okay. <clears throat> we have a video, which is cool for now. Oh, it's going to be fun. Um, how would I create that? Maybe three different divs. And have borders around each of those three or maybe three columns. Right, okay, so this could be one header, a subheader, maybe each of these are just list items. Right, and then this is the button. Clone that three times, give it different classes maybe, and then put it side by side, somehow, yeah, somehow, alright, okay. Put it inside a div. Maybe H3. Ten or top. Okay. Um, that one looks bigger. Might be better to use just a P tag. Right, and then you go just list items. Four of them, just lower them some. Something like that. Okay, and then yeah, and we just copy paste that two more times. And maybe I can get do you know what there might be user stories on this. Wait a minute. I need to add this ID to this video. ID equals form. Pretty sure I did that already. Yep. I Z no. CSS flexbox, the least one need a query. Now, I should always be at the top of the viewport. Okay, it doesn't have any more. Um, wrap the li in ul. Wrap it in ul. Um, okay. Ul is. Uh, Unordered list, right? All right, man. 
gonna follow Paddy's lead and we're gonna wrap it up. Oh, it needs to be a closing tag. But it's giving me these that I don't want. I don't want uh, bullet points. There you go, there's the answer. Uh, let's style type none. Otis, what the hell is Otis? <laughs> oh, because they get the idea of Otis. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, we'll just copy that for now. I don't know why it's Otis, we're gonna go with Otis. Okay, this one doesn't work. Oh, I put in the H3. That is not what I want to do. And okay, yeah, it's all good now. That is all good. A good Bohemian Rhapsody. All right. What else do we need? Got three of the. Oh, we need a button. Forgot the button. It's a select button, huh? Just, it's not a submit. It's just a button. I think button is just button. Okay. Uh, and where text? Boom. Select. By use class instead of ID, the ID should only be used once. And are we talking about this? Otis? Okay. Why should it only be used once? Because I think that's the... That's the thing that overrides... I used it three times. Oh, you mean in three different ones? But I can have the same class across three different UI ULs. It is unique reference, okay. Alright, cool. See, I didn't know that, man. Thanks. I would have messed something up. Alright, so class, I think, is dot. Dot is. Hello, okay, yeah. 
I just copy paste this code. So basically it's saying within class Otis, everything that's li make this. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's looking good. Uh, what else? What else is on the page? You got a footer. Privacy terms. Does does a footer go in the main? Okay, so don't do it. So this goes after that. So we have privacy terms, contact. I'm assuming I'm, this also is going to be a UL. Privacy terms contact. And then we need that. We need a. Yeah, I guess that's paragraph. Original Trump. Hey, look at that. Oh, we need to remove the thing. So, gonna go for the same class equals Otis. What is Otis? Why is it Otis? I don't think it means anything, right? It's just someone just decided to use Otis. Or does it have a special meaning? Uh, okay, so we've got the building blocks, so now um, CSS Flexbox, which I have completely forgotten how that works. All right, close, 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 close. Uh, let's go back. Sandbox. Oop. Flex. No, no, no. CSS tricks. So oh, yeah. Flexbox. Complete guide to flexbox. Not that I know. Right, yeah, there must be some random guy just decided to put Otis. Maybe because his name is Otis or something. Um, yeah, I'm going to stand up now. Been sat down for too long. Okay, so parent. Flex items. Alright, let's just do that. So dot container. Okay. 
Okay, so it's gonna be the header. Display flex um, or inline flex direction, flex grow, flex wrap, flex flow. Flex flow rover. What is that? It's a good idea. Let's use this one in CSS tricks. Oh, nice. Awesome. Awesome, man. Yeah, someone, some, I found this. I don't know who gave it to me. Someone's like, yeah, we use that. Um, cool. Glad, you, glad someone in the industry is using it too. Uh, they didn't do anything though. Flex flow. Justify content space around. Flex direction, bro. It's the same as that. Okay. Maybe column. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm not selecting the... Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, dude, it's already working, see? It's because I'm not... Um... Yeah, look at that, it's already working. And also, we're going to need to um, add these around a UL tag. Going to give a class of Otis, because it's Otis the god. Okay, now I need to make these in a line like that, so... Alright, I think I'll mess this up. Okay, nav bar HTML. Horizontal, yep, that's what I want. Navigation bars. Yeah, that is correct. Margin zero, padding zero, zero. Display inline, okay. Float left. We used to float block elements next to each other, that's what we need. Float left. Display inline. No, 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 um, maybe. I don't know, I'm just gonna run it. Yeah, that's not what I want. That is not what I want. Go back. So, okay, that does that, so I think we're gonna need, um, Need to give another Otis. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna add an ID to it. Okay. 
Wait, it already has an Evelink. Okay, so if I do... No, that's a class, right? Navlink. Navlink. Nope. So I'm gonna need to do. I'm gonna change this one. Um, I'm gonna give a Nav Otis. So the list items within that we're going to display inline and then float float left this was right what was right oh i <laughs> float left oh crap that didn't work bokum bokum man is that is that another typo <laughs> okay yeah both will work, got it. But it's not working, why is it not working? I've done something wrong. I right. see, man, it, it's, it is working. All right, how do I, how do I add? I need to make it look like this. I know how, we add margins and all that good stuff between them. Maybe. Let's run the test. Yeah, okay. Got a little bit more margin, maybe like 40. Mm. Okay, I need to make this picture small. It's too big. I also need to add Otis Nav. Do I? No, okay. I've got a header image. Um, font size, maybe. Nope. With, 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 that will do it. Um, <laughs> it's too small now. Okay, so maybe 150. Whoa, that looks disgusting. 350. Yeah. Most listen. With maybe a smaller height. Height equals, I don't know, 250. Auto, okay. Hi, old. What does that do? Well, okay, we're going to have to add some. What if I do auto on both? What does that do? It doesn't quite look like this. This is very small and it's... Oh, okay, I don't want to see the code name. Full page, full page. Doesn't change size at all. Okay. Those obviously changes. I think we're going to need to do some minimum and maximum with... 
No, I mean Max would it. Maybe? Go Max. That's the only way now I know how to make it constant. I guess picking a fixed height is better height. So instead of width, fixed height. All right, let's try. Okay, it stays the same, which is good, but that looks that looks horrible, man. Maybe like fifty pixel an eye. There you go, that looks better. I think that's slightly smaller than that. I don't know, thirty five. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a margin top from 10 pixels. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, the problem we have now. Yeah, and with and the width auto, make the width auto. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, hundred percent. That looks so much better. All right, cool. So, that, so the logo is good. There's another problem we're having now is this gap. I need that, and I need to be on the same line. So something isn't working. I think this this isn't working. I don't even know what this is. I don't know why we did that. Oh, that was the move to the top right. Yeah, definitely let me go back. Flex column, flex column. Flex column. Great. <laughs> it's not on the flesh. Flex direction column, there we go. I think that's what we do. Flex direction. doesn't like it. Inline, what do we do already? Display inline, float left. Uh, 
All right, so let's figure out how to use flex column here to make it work. Hmm. Also, I think margin, if I go like minus 20, so we're probably gonna say, that should put in the same line as the logo. Nope. Okay, that's not gonna work. All right, whatever. Flex column. Flex column isn't working. Red list is no wrap, yellow is wrap, wrap reverse. Display flex. Flex direction. Oh, here we go. Red list is row. Yellow is reverse column. I think. I think we're gonna need row here, Patty. Not. Column because column puts in a column like that. We need it in a row, right? Hmm. Let's try out. But this, we already got a row here. Whatever, let's try. Display flex, flex. Direction No Maybe it is cool. Flex column. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not doing anything though. Flex row. Flex direction. Maybe I'm not selecting the right um Yeah, I'm not really sure because you need to set the flex on the container. On the container. Mm. Right, okay. What's the container? The container for the navigation header, right? Header is the container. So which flex flow flex direction then? Not the elements itself. Okay, that didn't work in the row. Oh, okay, I feel, I feel like you found something that I'm missing. Right. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. And then maybe also enable this. Okay. 
Okay, let's remove this thing. Image I need it fixed with. Uh, yeah, we can do that fixed with because it is in a flex. All right, so if we give it I don't know, 350 pixels. Slightly bigger. Okay, let's make it 325. Also, what happened to my music? Because it's in a flex. It is in a flex. Whoa, 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 what happened here? That's. Oh, I changed. <laughs> I changed the wrong thing. Did I delete the minimum width? Ah, oh, there you go. Should be better. Okay, we've got that, but. It is not liking these things are not going. So it's making this and this entire thing together like that. But I think even for this, we are going to need a separate flex for everything within everything within the uh, navigation maybe so yeah, okay yeah yeah so if we so we were applying it to the nav otis ally so instead of that if we do it to uh, delete it okay so if I did that and just copied all of this, I don't need to copy, I can just add that part here. Can I? I don't think so. Nav bar is an ID. ID. ID is a hashtag, I believe. How's that? Yep, okay. Mm, okay, didn't quite like it. Does not like it, does not like it. Just trying anything right now. <laughs> okay, back to work. What are we doing wrong? Flex flow row. Makes sense.
dot longhand dot longhand was longhand. And longhand is the class of the UL. I mean, we already tried that, but let's try it. Hey, <laughs> that works. So we still have the same, we, we've got the same problem again. Like earlier, you see this um, this gap. I want it to the right. Oh, there was a way to make it to the right. I think that, I think that was a flip direction. No, align, align, something. Flex, align. Hey, look at that, flex box for navigation bar. Display flex. Mm -hmm. Align item center. Align items. I don't want to send align items right. I think that's what we need. Align items right. Does it even have a right option? That space property. Space, 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 space. Space. Space between, ooh. Flex start, flex end, flex end. That's what we need, flex end. Justify content, flex, oh. I think you're talking about this, huh? Space around, space evenly. Flex end really works. Justify contents, flex end. Um, all right, let's try. So you grade was grade, gerade space between. So you create space between image and navigation. Gotcha. Justify content. Um, I think I'll put it in this one on the header. So justify content. Space between. Just click on the space between. That should then. Um, okay. Man, I don't know where you're from. It's like half two in the morning for me. My brain's going dead. <laughs> so, okay. Man, that worked. The space between thing works. Where are you from? I'm in the UK. A space between thing works magic. Um, Germany, gotcha, cool. Germany, what time is in Germany now? Germany, time. Oh wow, <laughs> you're like an hour ahead of me. <laughs> hey man, I appreciate you staying up and hanging around on the stream. Uh, okay, Nav Otis, need to. So margin didn't work out there, huh? Margin top. Whoa, I guess that did work. That did work. Let's go 50. Going to bed now, working a few hours. All right, man, sounds good. Again, thanks for, thanks for staying up. 
Um, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Appreciate you having me around. Um, and yeah, I'll see you. Yeah, man, thanks for hanging around. Come back again sometime. I'm, I will be streaming. I don't know, not maybe not daily, but I will be streaming again. So let's let's code together. All right, take care, man. Have a great day at work tomorrow. Awesome, thanks. All right. Okay, so space between is working. Okay, cool. Next time on PC, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's no typos or anything. All right, sounds good. All right, we need to get rid of those um, bullet bullet points. Watching code on mobile when phone is hard, yeah, I can imagine. I would guess so. No news, no news. <laughs> yeah, having a zoom in. But if it helps, I can probably do this, but I don't know how much that helps. But that doesn't that makes this makes it uncomfortable for me but to code. All right, let's go back to normal mode. No, 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 what have I done? Hey, look at that. Doesn't do it here though, right? It's fixed. Nope, does the same thing here too. That's cool. I probably would want to remove this and Maybe next time. All right, later, man. Bye bye. Can un how do I remove the underlying? Text decoration none. Don't think I've got U elements, so we're just going to use a. Boom, that works. Okay, that definitely works. Okay, that's cool for now. We need to make this in the center. Um, that is the... So I give this to class of uh, head headline is going to be always oh, going to be above the fold above the fold. Just mention that. And align content center. Nope.
Yeah, C and T. Oh, that's fine. Maybe just flex. Oh wait, I need to add a dot. That's fine. Missing a dot. There we go, center, that works. And um, column, so it comes in the bottom. Flex direction. Yes, but. If I do that, it doesn't justify center. It's interesting. Hmm, I'm not sure why that doesn't work, so I can't do just by... That's weird. Align items, maybe? There we go. There we go. There we go. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Um, all right. I kind of feel like I want to add a background to it. Color. I'm going to strike green for now. Okay, so the background actually needs to go... Um, I want the whole... Th I want the whole thing in that though. So I'm also going to have to give the header a color. Grab this color. Hmm. 
Okay, that doesn't want to work. Oh, because I don't have a hashtag. There you go, that looking good. Mm, I wanna give it a background. Yeah, yeah what I need is a margin, I think. Margin, bottom. Yeah, that would do it. Oh, wow. That is not going to do it. So we're going to need padding, maybe. Whoa, padding definitely works. Yeah, okay, that's looking cool. Um, we're also going to give it a margin. I think margin top might include a gap. Let's see. Maybe I'm going to have to do padding on top so, so I can center it. Yeah, that is not going to work. Maybe a padding up top. Uh, 100 pixels, let's try that. Yeah, that looks cool. Although the text looks horrible. Handcrafted, homemade. Masterpieces. Yeah, we're going to leave it here for today. Um, we'll come back again tomorrow and finish this off. So, yeah, everyone, Paddy, thanks for hanging out. I know you're not here if you watch later. Thanks for hanging out. Anyone who's watching the replay, thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. All right, later, guys.